everyone likes to get up in my comments like, how are we going to defeat AI? We could poison it. And then they, the models will break. And like, no, that is not going to work the way that you think it is. You don't just watermark your image and then the models break. No, I'll tell you exactly how to do it. Let's read a paper. So in the field of adversarial machine learning, which is not a generative adversarial network, we're talking about a field that seeks to destroy or perturb machine learning models. There's a couple of different uh, attacks that you can actually do. One is called classifier influence. In a diffusion model, you take an image, usually complete noise, but you can also take an input image. And then you take a classifier, which is a machine learning model that looks at some inputs, like a picture, and then classifies them, like tells you what's in the image. So then you just change a few pixels on the image, and then you ask, the classifier, has this turned into the image that we were wanting? Is it more or less? And then if it's more, it keeps tweaking pixels in that direction and discards all of the other possible ways you could have tweaked pixels. Now, you can influence a machine learning model by disrupting the classifier. How do you disrupt a classifier? Well, first of all, you gotta figure out what classifier they're using. For most models, it's clip. Here's the clip paper. Really of interest to us is the training data section. For high quality crowd labeled data sets, as in it's a bunch of people who volunteered to label these images. There are a number of new ones that have come out since 2021. This part doesn't generate the output data. All it does is tells you whether or not you're getting closer to the output data. Are you following what I'm saying so far? Basically, if you understand what the pipeline is of training data for any of these models, which is usually specified on the model card, you could somehow get data into their training data set. Data that was subtly wrong, say. And while it won't protect your art in particular, we'll change what these models are capable of doing. Because there's no way to inspect the training data to know if it's correct. That would require a lot of human attention. What you can do is generate a lot of subtly wrong data that's even difficult for humans to detect. And then get it into the training data set. How would you do it? By using AI. Oh, and guess who will help you do it? Yeah, the foundation models. The only way to defeat AI is with AI, yes. Everyone who keeps saying that in my comments, yes. Yes, that's been a thing we've been working on for years, and ChatGPT will help you do it.